More than 90% of small businesses never pass the $1 million revenue mark. Most small businesses make less than a million dollars a year. Why is that? How entrepreneurs actually get rich and make a lot of money? I think first of all, most people, they're confused. They don't know the difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. When you ask a business owner, what do they do? They would usually say something like, I own a plumbing business. I own a restaurant. I own a flower shop. I own a landscaping business. Whatever business they're in, they'll tell you that. And usually it's very narrowly specific, very focused. I do this. Versus if when you ask an entrepreneur, the answer is not so simple, right? My mom is still trying to figure out exactly what do I do to make a living, okay? It is sometimes my mom's friends ask her, what exactly does your son do? It is not so easy to answer. Because what we do as an entrepreneur, First and foremost, we make money by execution and by innovative ideas. So when you ask an entrepreneur what exactly do they do, it's not so easy because there are many things that they do to generate money and revenue. It's not so much like, oh, this is all, all I do, this is what I do. And that's why you see entrepreneurs, we start companies, we, we grow companies, we turn around companies, we sell companies, and then you find them to do it all over again. And sometimes in different verticals, it could be like someone like Richard Branson, and they find it that how, how come someone like him, the Virgin brand could be in so many different verticals. It could be in airline, it could be in try to get into you know mobile phone and all these different things. Because as an entrepreneur, what we do, if you talk to an entrepreneur, you could ask them something and say, hey, what are you working on? And they would say, I'm working on this. And then three to five months, six months later, you'll talk to them, they will tell you, okay, now from what I was working on, now it's evolved into this. I'm adding this piece, interesting. And then a year later, two years later, talk to them, they could be doing something completely different. Now, I'm not talking about the, the shiny object syndrome where you jump from one thing to another. It's, they're doing many, many different things, but it's still within the business. It's still within one business. Now, maybe they could have different businesses, but they are very innovative within the business they're in. Versus if you talk to a business owner, you ask them, what do you do? Well, I own a plumbing business. 10 years later, you ask them, what do you do? I own a plumbing business. Kind of same old, same old. That's when you know that's a business owner, that's not an entrepreneur. I'll give you a perfect example. Take Apple. What business is Apple in? Now, Apple might start it off in the beginning as a computer business, right? You can say it's a software business. That's cool, that's fine. And then later on, it evolved into what? other types of businesses. So when you look at Apple, when they launch the, um, the iPod, guess now what business they're in? They are now in the music business, right? Now then, when you launch the, when they launch the iPhone, now they are in the mobile phone business, right? And then now with the App Store, which they make 30%, everything sells through the App Store, they make 30%, then what business are they in? They're in the app business. Now they have this ecosystem within what they do. So if you look at Apple, what exactly, what business are they in? Well, it's tough to say. It's no longer just a computer company. It is much, much more than that. Now that's an entrepreneur. That's the difference. You might see they have a business within a business. You might see they have multiple streams of income within a business. Or you might see they have this vertical integration that they own this and this and also this from top to bottom the chain, you may do that too. That's the difference. And that's how entrepreneurs really get rich. It is through innovative ideas. How can I make it better? How can I add value this way? Can I do something like this? What, what are some of the things that I do? You look at even Disney. What business is Disney in? Disney is in, or you can say, oh, Disney is a theme park, is it? What about the Disney Channel? What about in front of my, my, my house? I see the, the Disney Cruise all the time. Right, they're the Disney Cruise. But really, they're also in the licensing business, they're in the merchandising business. It's not so narrowly focused, or oh, they're just in this business. Does that make sense? Comment below if this is making sense to you. 
That's what I'm talking about. That's how entrepreneurs really get rich. Now, with what about your business? On a small scale, what I'm talking about is, ask yourself, how can you develop multiple streams of income within one business? Not shiny object syndrome. You know how I'm opposed to that. How can you develop multiple streams of income within one business? Then, if on a bigger scale, how can I build a business within a business? How can I add two or three pillars within what I do to diversify within the business and innovate? That's what makes you an entrepreneur. Until next time, I'll see you in my belly.